guys welcome back to my channel and happy new year guys i know it's been a long a long long time since i posted on my channel and i do apologize guys you guys life happens and when it happens it really hits me hard so it's kind of difficult for me to come back but anyway um the prayer is that 2022 is different and we are able to be more consistent on the channel okay so how have you guys been i've missed you guys and yeah it's good to be back you know and um yeah if you're a new subscriber you're welcome to the family and if you're an oldie hey i've missed you all and um welcome back to my channel okay so guys today is um 29th and in two days time it's going to make it one year since i moved to canada i don't know if i should call it moving because i didn't actually move i came for a purpose and then somehow somehow i ended up staying this long and just like that it's almost a year since i came so yeah in reality i haven't actually moved because i still all my things anything that you have known me with anything you have ever seen me with on this channel i left everything in nigeria when i was coming because the intention wasn't actually to relocate at the time you know but somehow yeah like i said i'm here one year later so but i still have to go back to nigeria to go get my things and then i actually need that closure <laughs> from nigeria because i feel like i have i didn't do everything i was supposed to do like pack up or you know say my goodbyes properly to my friends and and family and all that you know so i still need to go back so hopefully sometime media i would go back to nigeria pack my things properly and then officially move to canada but so far i've been here for one year now and you guys it's been a ride i'm actually shaping my eyebrows i wanted to shape my eyebrows before doing this video but i'm like one mind just told me that if you keep on postponing this thing you want to get ready you want to do this you're never going to do this video so yeah i'm shaping my eyebrows if you want to see a video of how i shape my eyebrows with a blade you guys i'm going to put the link up here so you can see that i shape my eyebrows with a blade i don't i don't wax i don't tweeze it so I, I, I actually have to do it like every two to three days because my eyebrows grow really fast. So I'm doing it. And actually, this is one of the reasons why I miss Nigeria because this thing doesn't really work for me. It doesn't. But using a proper razor blade, like it cleans it out once. In one swipe, it cleans it out. But this is what I have to deal with. This is what I have to manage till I go back to Nigeria and I'm able to bring a truckload of blades for my brows okay guys so how have you guys been what have you guys been up to you guys this time around i plan to actually bring out consistent content for you guys and my channel is not going to be streamed like i plan a lot of things for my channel this year i'm going to be talking about so many things of course there's still going to be beauty that one is standard there's still going to be talks about skincare hair care and stuff like that but then again I'll be introducing other new things to my channel like you guys will get to see them as the year goes by but there are other interesting things I hope you guys enjoy them that I plan to bring to my channel so that you guys can see a different side of me like a different personality that I have a different side of me that you've never seen before you know you may have seen it in some of my <laughs> in some of my old videos but you're going to be seeing more of it now so yeah I have written down a lot of topics that I'll be talking about this year in this my book. Do you like my book? My book is so cute. It says, enjoy the little things, okay? And YouTube is one of the things I enjoy, irrespective of the fact that I don't post consistent content, but it's one of the things I actually really like. Because I like to share my opinions and I like to actually tell people, like, things that have worked for me, I like to... Tell people and you know, you can try it and if it works for you, fine and good. Or if you have a better way of doing something, please let me know. That's what this channel is about. I'm not your teacher. We're teaching each other, okay? Good. So yeah, I have a lot of topics I want to talk about. Of course, living in Canada is one of them. My experience is living here in Canada. And um, of course, my new beauty hacks. Beauty hacks, things makeup related. You guys, when I was coming, I left all my makeup in Nigeria. And if you know if you know makeup, you know that makeup is expensive. You can spend three hundred dollars on something, and it's just like two or three products or four products, depending on what you're actually buying. 
you know so it's really been a pain trying to build back my kit but what i decided to do is just buying things i knew that i didn't have already so like foundation instead of me going back to buy foundation that i already have in nigeria i'm just buying another brand or you know stuff like that just buying things i didn't have already so that even when i come with my even when i bring my new my other things over it's not like i'm repeating some um, the products so yeah it actually gives me room to explore new products so i'm kind of disappointed but i'm still grateful at the same time yeah so life in canada one year you guys it hasn't been easy i came i'm panting like i'm tensed <sighs> okay calm down and I'm drinking Ribena, so just give me a minute. Let me drink. Let me drink Ribena and calm down, okay? All right. So, living in Canada for one year now, you guys, it hasn't been easy trying to adapt, particularly with the cold. I'm not. I don't like cold at all, even in Nigeria. I don't use AC. You know, when the weather is very cold, I get easily irritated. I'm very irritable when the weather is cold, so I don't like cold. But we're on a mission, so I have to manage it. So cold is one of the things that I had to deal with. I had to get used to it. But now it's actually not so bad because as time goes on, you learn how to deal with it. Sometimes I sleep with two hot water bottles. I drink hot tea before I go to bed just to make me, you know, to generate heat in my body and it just keeps me warm and get me through the night. And then you have to lay up a lot. I lay up like I sometimes like when I'm done dressing, I'm this big because I have layered up like three, four, five um tops before i can even wear my jacket that is one of the things i had to deal with especially in calgary the weather is usually very cold in calgary but for some reason thankfully this january hasn't been so bad so in fact for me to actually open my mouth and say oh the weather looks good at minus five degrees you can imagine what i've had to deal with so yeah the cold hasn't been so bad but still getting used to cold is not easy at all i'm looking at my notes so that i don't forget anything okay and then yeah getting a job hmm you guys the truth is that if you look their jobs their jobs if you look for you will find you know what you have to do just arrange your cv or um um i don't know how how much what's the word to use arrange your cv like we arrange your cv put the ask ask a friend that's been there if you want a sample of um cv i can send you what i used to apply and the 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 Feedback has been amazing, you know, for the first six months when I came, I wasn't looking for a job. I didn't come here to work. I came here for other reasons, you know, so, but as it kept on lingering and then I was having issues back home in Nigeria from my place of work because of how long I was staying. That story for another day anyway, but, um, as long as you're eligible to work, you can get a job. Even if it's minimum wage, guys. What I always tell people, like, if you're relocating and you come here, of course, you come with money. It's even, it's better, I feel like it's better to, even if it's just minimum minimum wage um, that you get at first, you start with that. At least you're not digging into your savings. You're not digging into the money that you came with. So, I mean, if that one is paying your bills, your rent and stuff like that, and then getting you through, of course, you should do that while you are looking for other jobs what they call it is um survival jobs you know and then what else um there are so many things that i'll be talking about so i'm going to break them down into different videos because if i'm talking about all of them in one video it's going to be too long i'm going to be talking about um how to get a car how to get your like if you're if you're new in canada with things that you should get like your health card your you open a bank account you get your scene you get your what um of course your um winter wears um the pros and cons of living in canada insurance tax bank you know all those stuff i'm going to be talking about all that and then leave, buying a house or renting which one is better depending on um, what you're looking for depending on what your goals are so yeah you know 
um my moving to canada hmm, it wasn't planned though my moving to canada wasn't planned at all but you know i'm here now and i'm just going to make the best out of it i kind of took last year as i don't know it was a year for me to rest honestly you know i just i just i looked at life in a different in a different way you know a lot of things had happened so my perspective on life was just a bit different from how i used to approach things before that's not to say that i have completely changed but <clears throat> there are some things that i just look at differently now you guys i think this life is you because you don't know you never can tell what's gonna happen you know sorry excuse me let me do this brows well if i'm talking i may not let me not get ruin my brows i beg mm -hmm. i've actually missed youtube but if you follow me on instagram you guys try and follow me on instagram because even if i'm not active on youtube i'm very active on instagram it's the same handle across all social media platforms on tiktok i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram i'm on twitter i'm on facebook you can find me in all those places i'm actually more active there if i'm if, I, if you can't find me on youtube i'm there okay so follow me on those platforms okay so that we can always interact yeah so i have a lot of things planned for this year like i said i kind of took last year as my year off you know to kind of just sit back and do nothing not even think self not even plan for i didn't plan i didn't yes i didn't do anything okay even i started working at some point i started working at some point but even the job self i just relaxed you know because life not judge to be honest i can't come and go and kill myself you know so guys that's it i don't want this video to be too long because i'm just like introducing my channel again so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notifications whenever i post a new video don't forget to share this video comment on anything you'd like me to talk about as you know i'm living in calgary now in calgary canada so if you have questions on how i relocated how to come here and stuff like that i'll be willing to answer those questions for you okay because there are actually a lot of people that want to move but they don't know how to go about it or they're stuck somewhere they just don't know so if i can help of course i'll be happy to answer those questions so yes it's 2022 and let's make the best out of it this channel is going to be feeding you with consistent quality content quality the key word being quality not just consistent but you know quality um, content as well and um yeah be good to yourself, love yourself, and um, love others. Okay, bye.